What's up, guys? It's King Daddy D Mac, and welcome! Welcome back to another episode of Ark Survival Evolved! That's right, we're playing here, yes, on the Omega server, having so much fun doing flips! Man, oh man, guys, how you doing today? Hope you're doing good. Me, personally, I'm doing pretty good. I'm doing pretty good. We are so very close to having the new server all set up. Yeah, we just need one more day. Um, Froggy Man ran into a couple of problems this weekend. Um, he got his accounts hacked, and it kind of set us back a little bit. But he's getting that stuff all taken care of, put back together, and if all goes well, tomorrow should be. Should be the new season. But... That's okay, because you know what? There's a lot of epic and awesome things on the server today. Some new uniques that I want to check out and some better versions of old ones. So I think it should be pretty sweet. Last episode, uh, we snagged up a couple of really cool ones. Frostburn, Oblivion, Pooh, and a couple of other guys are pretty awesome. We also upgraded our Shadow Main. Yes, this was the Gamma Ray one into the Group God version along with the Dynon. So if you want to see that, go definitely check it out. Anyway, uh, yeah, let's get to it. Let's bang out the new uniques as fast as we can. There's a couple of them I found around the server. So I think that should be pretty cool. And maybe, just maybe, there is one other group god. Th these are like the final bosses of the game. Um, there is one other that we haven't done yet that I think we might be able to do. I, I think it would be a possibility. And that is the Guardian uh, along with Resource. It's probably going to be a pretty tanky boss, but we'll see how we do. Anyway, wish me luck on my search for Uniques, guys. And please remember to show that amazing support for the series by smashing that thumbs up button. And if you're new to the channel or you haven't yet, please do not forget to subscribe for the daily ARC awesomeness. Check that out. We have a Prime Froggy. This is one that we've we've already done in the past, twice actually. But this is the first one that's like a phenomenal level one. Let's go ahead and do this so we can get rid of the water. All right, let's clear out some of the baddies. Come on, get, get. All right, let's get this piranha right here. Come on, guys, get the crap out of town. All right, all good. And where's Froggy? Froggy! Oh, there he is, there he is, there he is. Right there. Um, hopefully we should be good. It would be nice if I could get you to come out onto the land, Froggy. Come here, bro. He's like caught up on this bridge right... Oh! Right here. Come here, dude. That's him right there, right? All right, you know what? Let's just do it right there. Why not? All right, get him netted. And... So far, so good. He's probably going to do his Gamma Ray at least once. Oh, this is going to be awesome. Froggy is a ridiculous beast. All right, almost there. Awesome. All right, I think we got it. I think we got it. Oh, oh no. Oh, no. What is going on? Are we okay? Holy crap. All right, we all good? All right, I think we're all good. Let's go. Come here, Froggy. You're knocked out, right? All right, access inventory, and I think it said two prime kibble, and starve out. We got it! Awesome! This is the first one that's actually good enough, um, stat-wise, level-wise, and um, tier-wise, that we could upgrade it into an Omega. I think that would be pretty awesome, and who knows? Maybe Froggy Man will actually take a... Uh, Make a visit onto the server again. I Man, it's been so long. I don't know what his problem is, but maybe we could gift it to him at some point. I think that would be sweet. Anyway, uh, let's continue on to the next unique. All right, here's the next one. We have a Beta Solar 245. Again, we've tamed this guy in the past, but this one is actually a good level. So let's see if we can get it knocked out. Nice! Got it knocked out. All right, now we just got to get the rest of the ants out of here. Solar is epic. 
Oh, man. I think it's a Starfire mixed with... Mixed with what? It's it, with Meteor, maybe? Come on, come on. Last little ant. Are you stuck under him, bro? Come on, don't do this to me. Do not do this to me. It's a phoenix. Ugh. All right. Um, That actually could damage. So, Oh. All right, is he trying to run away? All right, one beta unique. Let's just do it. He's not going to attack him. Um, One beta unique and... Bada boom. Epic solar. Let's go smash this guy. That is so cool. Look at that. Wow. My favorite ant. It is so bright. It's so crazy bright. All right. Another epic and awesome one. And these paragons are pretty easy to get for these guys. All right. I like it. I like it a lot. Let's carry on to the next. Come on, Misty. Well, then, we meet again. Builder Bob. Remember Builder Bob? Oh, I've been wanting to run across him again. Unfortunately, look at this. He's stuck under the ground and uh, not really sure how to get him out. Um, I got yelled at so bad with this guy because it's like one of the only... Are you serious, Maywing? Go away. Um, it's like one of the only creatures that's a passive tame. There's very, very few others in this mod. And, you know, gotchas, normally for a gotcha, it's a passive tame. You throw stuff on the ground. Well, I just assumed it was a guy that you threw stuff on the ground. It didn't even occur to me to do it the normal passive taming way. So I still don't know if it works that way. But, oh, man, did I sure get chewed out for it. All right. Builder Bob. Can, can I passive tame you? Is that is that a possibility? Mr. Bob. All right, not seeing anything that says passive tame that way. So I'm, I'm going to be even more mad if people chewed me out and they're wrong. Um, What are we going to do? Um, First, let's get this Maywing out of here because it's driving me nuts. Get! All right, Mr. Builder. Um, uh, maybe we could do like a siren potion to get him out. Potentially. Siren? Will you come out, Builder Bob? All right, we should have affected him with it. It's crafting harvesting. Come on, Builder Bob. Are you following me? All right, he, he's going slowly but surely. I'm hoping that he actually unglitches him. All right, another possibility. I don't know if gotchas are too big to pick up, but uh, sometimes this works. Now, I want to be careful because passive teams sometimes get messed up when you, you know, if you aggro them or, or do something goofy. So I, I want to avoid that at all costs. Come on, please. Yeah. Oh, 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 perfect. Oh, thank goodness. This RG has saved me more times than I can count. Oh, crap. I just ate a kibble. More times than I can count. All right, let's make sure you're on passive, bro. All right, Builder Bob. Are you gonna... Look at that, guys. Look at that. Trying to do the passive tame way. Not working. Hmm. All right, so let's... Uh... Let's try throwing some on the ground then, the way I had originally tried. I am so mad at all those people that have been telling me to do it this way, and they just obviously don't know. It's got to be. Come on, come on. Come on. Oh, it's got to be this way. I knew it. I knew I was right. To all you people that yelled at me, you're idiots. Seriously, learn the game. I know what I'm doing. It didn't eat before because it got damaged. That is exactly what happened. Oh, I love it when people try and tell you what to do. And they have no clue themselves, yet they, they try and make you feel stupid. All right. Well, guess who's stupid? You are! No, I'm just cheesing, guys. But seriously, it, it drives me nuts. Oh, I did it again. That's why I'm stupid, because... I just wasted like two or three, but hey, Builder Bob, we did it. We finally did it. And that's an awesome level one too. All right. 
Beautiful. Beautiful, beautiful. Um, is this more kibbles? Nope, nope. Junk, junk, junk. All right, I'm happy. We got Builder Bob. All right, let's carry on. Oh, I'm so happy. We found another cold snap. I've been looking for another one for like ever. Oh, I cannot even tell you how long. Come here, buddy, bro. And, oh crap, I can't. Yeah! All right, how many kibble? One unique kibble. All right, please nobody come for me. Don't mess up my cold snap. All right, uh, it said one, right? I just already forgot. Yes! Another cold snap. Dude, you're so cool. I love this guy. Oh, you're a beautiful one. All right, all right, get packed up. We got some more. There's a couple more ones that are improvements upon uh, guys we already got. And then, yeah, I think they're all improvements from here on out. But anyway, let's get them anyway. Ooh, look at, look at, we got Sandman again. Remember Sandman? It's a better level one than last time. It's a Gorgon taming. Let's just, it was fighting with this guy. It's making me nervous. All right, Sandman, it's only got 4,000. All right, we gotta be careful with this one. All right, hopefully, uh, can I aim right? All right, yeah, we golden. Boom, and boom, beautiful. All right, so again, this one leaves a little to be desired, but it is still far better than the last one we got. So, have to get it. Bada boom, and bada boom. Dude, this guy is awesome. Gorgon taming. So it can turn a guy to stone and then it can knock him out. Oh, he's so good. All right, carrying on. Holy crap, guys. Look at, look at. We've got Flash. Come on, Flash. Come on. Oh, load, 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 load. Oh, my goodness. Get him. Yeah. Ooh, who's this? You need to go, bro. All right. So you have 22, how much we hit for? We should be able to do it. Oh crap, right? Oh, it's a vampire dude. All right, awesome. So one beta unique and beta and starve out. Awesome, so lightning storm and spiritual. I feel like this guy definitely, it's the typing that should have got a really cool skin, but it didn't. Don't know why, but very cool. That was a phenomenal level one. So pretty happy. Get out of here, bro. All right, guys, we have another swarm. Yeah, remember swarm? Yeah, he's the uh, overlord uncontrollable. Pretty insane. And wow, look at that for a piranha. These are <laughs> Omega darts, and it's going to take this many darts. That is insane. All right, keep going, bro. Keep going. You got this. Jeezy Pades. This guy has got some insane multipliers. The uncontrollable ones are really, really strong. All right. Almost there. Who's that by him? Alpha Stone. All right, let's get him knocked out and knocked out. All right, we got to deal with the other piranha in the lake before we dismount anywhere close to him. Come on. And let's get you. Get out of here. Let's get this guy. Get out of here. All right, who else we got that would... Oh, you stay away. You stay away. Dude, where are these raptors coming from? Get raptor! All right, I think we're good. Oh, dude, two more raptors popped out just as I did that. All right, whatever. Let's. I don't see any piranhas, so let's dismount. So what is it? One alpha unique. All right, here we go. And alpha right. And starve out. Yes! Oh, this is gonna be for sure. Wow, the protector of our pond. All right, come here, bro. I, I need you. I need you. 
All right, guys, here we have Deep. I'll be honest with you, I can't remember what the other Deep was that we got, but hopefully this one's better. All right. Ooh, go up, Torpor. Come on, let's go get this other guy out of the way. Come on. Come on, let's go deep. Oh, worth the crap. Um, should I continue using that? I feel like we could hit him with the other one. I don't know. It might be a little risky. Let's uh let's do that to trap him. And then oh, I kind of want to do it. I feel like he could survive. Ugh, and we gotta hurry, so you know what? Let's let's find out. An Omega in our really good one. Alright, we're golden. Ooh, deep. Water storm familiar. Alright, almost done. Come on, water storm be over. We good? Alright, and two unique kibble. And one, a two, and a tame. Oh, you look so sad all netted up. It's okay, bro. I'll free you. All right. I think that's going to do it for Uniques unless we come across any more. But uh, yeah, let's head back to the base and let's go check them out. All right, guys. I am loving all of my new Uniques. They are so cool. So yes, we got a far, far better Sandman. Still not phenomenal, but the other one we had, I think was like level 13. So yeah, very cool. Can go around... It can Gorgon stuff, so turn it to stone and then get the whole taming ability, which does Torpor. So very cool. I like them and very awesome skin. We have another Cold Snap, which I've been looking for a new Cold Snap forever. We also, we had like a level 19. It is just so cute. And boom. Cold Snap's another one that can spam as much as you want. Yeah. Oh, it, it's quite neat. I love all these little guys that have that, but is in ice and water. So it's doing ice and water with the same move. It's crazy. Awesome combo. So that would be another times four guy, I believe. Very cool. We got this is definitely it's definitely a higher level. I can't remember what tier or other flash was, but I remember it was crappy level. one. Wow, you're so fast, bro, dude. I love this thing. All right, and then what What are you? A spiritual lightning storm. So we can do a lightning storm all around. Very nice. This guy's probably, what, like a, I forget what it is. Is it four times four for the uh, lightning storm? And then two on the spiritual, so that would be an eight times multiplier. Of course, solar. We finally got a decent one. It still could be better, but Honestly, this might be the best we get. And you can actually do the two moves separately. I don't know if that was happening before, but very neat. Um, we definitely, this could be potentially a guy that we upgrade to Omega. Um, it, it's not bad. 36 times multiplier being a double cosmic. And then Prime Froggy. Yeah, this one's pretty good. This one's pretty good. Look at the chubby feet. It is so cool. And look at that tongue. Oh, and of course, it's a gamma ray with a volatile. He's got explosive pose. All right. Very, very nice. And then Builder Bob. I knew I was doing it right before. I don't know what some of you guys were trying to say. People were trolling the crap out of me. Don't you know how to passive feed something? You put it in the zero slot and walk up, which... I honestly, I should have tried it. I should have tried that because that would have been the next logical thing the last time we did Builder Bob. But I know from experience, gotchas, if they get damaged, they won't eat. They won't pick things up. So we had to get this guy. Ah, oh, and I have to say, Builder Bob has been nonstop doing crystals. He does crystals so quickly. I, I can't even keep up with it. I made an aggregator and uh, the crystal cracker thing. And yeah, I have them set to sulfur. I'll show you what we got. It's it's a shame that it doesn't do. I wonder if there is. Knowing this, knowing Hex and the mod author, I'm sure he did nothing to make anything easier. But it would have been so cool. Because I know in Primal Fear they have special gotchas. 
I don't think that's the case here. But if they had ones that made like souls and essence, holy crap, how game changing that would be. If that is a thing, tell me guys, because I wish I knew about it. But um, yeah, anyway, it's also harvesting crafting. So you're able to craft things in them. Although I would not trust that because you know what's weird guys? So check this out. See how it looks like it's empty and there's no saddle. And then look at it when I access it from this side. Okay, it's the same thing. Let's see now. I can ride it though. There was another, let me see, access inventory. Yeah, what the crap? His saddle, it, it's, there's, I know that there's like two different saddles or something weird because I was having problems before where I couldn't ride them. So it's almost like this guy has two different inventories or something super bizarre. He's like got a split personality. But yeah, I can ride him now, but before I was unable to ride him, I had to go and access the inventory differently. But it sounded, I don't even know what's going on, guys. I don't know. This guy, he's kind of buggy. I would not trust crafting in him just because it might eat the, your, the stuff that you're trying to craft with. So don't trust it there. But Builder Bob, you're still awesome. And I'm glad we finally got you. Yeah, get that stupid grin off your face. You've been a pain in my butt. And then I threw out a snow owl just to do the uh, pellets. I don't know. I don't know if any of this matters. But what I am going to do is grind up all the goodies that we get from them. Get polymer and all sorts of good stuff. New things. There are new types added in. Really cool. The mod author is updating stuff. We got this uh, element shadow main, uh, what, a few days ago. This is one of the new types. There was another type that came with this. Um, would called lethal, but just in the update today for you guys now watching this, that's yesterday, uh, he added in shield and nuclear. So I thought maybe, hey, let's go, uh, let's go real quick, grab some of the new types. I think that would be pretty dang cool. Um, let's grab back out. Come here, Misty. Let's grab Misty. Awesome. And uh, yeah, let's let's see if we can get one of each. Uh, shield, one shield, and one nuclear. All right, guys, check it out. We have an armor. Sorry, I was calling it shield before. An armored rock golem. So this is the new type. And I mean, what better creature than a rock golem? So I have my bows all set. Uh, I think we should be able to hit it with just Omega arrows on our good one. Come here, bro. Oh, no, don't go back down into your thing. Come here. Come on out. Um, he does get damaged by lava, so we got to make sure we don't knock him out in the lava because that would not be good. All right. Yow. Oh, easy. There we go. All right. So, oh, crap. Do you know what I didn't get? Oh, man. I forgot to get the cable. All right. So it's a guardian type. So let me go back and get it. All right. Back with the kibble. And we should be all good. All right, bada boom. Take it, starve out. Awesome. Let's just back away. I don't want anything targeting him by mistake. And got him, awesome. Oh, look at you, bro. All right, guys, look at this little cutie right here. Oh, it is an alpha nuclear. All right. And I should be able to hit it with my strong, strong guy. It's got 28,000. Nice. All right. Don't you go explode Nami, bro. So two kibbles and a one, a two and golden. We have our first nuclear creature. Very nice, very nice. That was the highest level I could find. Level and tier. All right, and final one. Let's, we haven't grabbed a lethal one yet. Let's, uh, let's go grab one of those too. All right, guys, we have beta, beta lethal uh, scorpion. This was the highest level one I could find. I have to tell you, slim, uh, slim pickings for a lot of these new guys. They seem kind of rare, kind of, Kind of like antimatter, you know, antimatter, it's there, but it's a lot rarer than all the other cosmics. 
Um, anywho, two beta rage. So these, I guess, are kind of like considered like the antimatters of uh, all the different types. So just they're not required for anything of progression, at least yet. And I guess they, they'll probably have kind of interesting abilities. Uh, let's start with this guy. Come on, little guy. Oh, you're so adorable when you're sleeping. You know, for a for a book. <laughs> For what you're, uh, what you are, oh, you're happy. All right, let's go check these new guys out real quick. I think it should be cool. And by the way, um, yes, anytime now, uh, Hexen, if you want to fix your uh, dimensionals, see what happens. I just press the dimensional, and it that should have fixed it. But I'm, I'm kind of curious. Let's go over by the water. Let's, uh, let's see what's up. But yeah, fix the sky. But the water is not working. But when I go under the water, it's working. Let's uh, let's go up here. Let's press it again. So that should have then turned it off. But then look at the sky. It's all messed up. And I go under the water and it's still messed up. This all initiated all of this when I'm on a dimensional. And I teleport using awesome teleporters. That's... That's where the initial break happens. And then once that happens, it doesn't go away. So let's let's try here. When I press it, all right, it it worked. The water went away. But the lighting, it's like permanently super bright here. So I I don't know. It, it's bizarre. And sometimes I can get it to fix, but as soon as I dismount, it's no longer fixed. So, my solution has been, don't use dimensionals. Um, and certainly don't teleport. And then I think it also can get messed up if you turn on the ability and then pick up your guy with the soul ball thing, it never turns off. So, I don't know. It honestly was fine before whatever change was made. And it's possible some of this could be because of the map I'm using. But anyway, just putting that out there. I know Hexen uh, and or people that know Hexen sometimes watch the videos. So yes, please fix it because it is extremely annoying. You have to log out to fix it. Anyway, let's check out our new guys. All right, so let's go over what all these new types are. So two are from the previous update, two are from the update that just happened. Um, the element one first, there's another uh, thing that goes with it. In addition to making uh, element and shards, um, it also has an interesting ability. It sounds like if I hit something, I'm pretty sure that's it. It's possible it could be if they hit me, but from how it reads, let's just see. It says, um, produces element and creates element shards when hit that prevent nearby dinos from using ability. So maybe it's when I get hit. But that's kind of neat. That uh, Being able to prevent stuff from using abilities... I wonder if that works on bosses too. That would actually be like spectacular. I have a feeling it doesn't, but I don't know. Maybe it definitely needs more testing. Then the lethal, it's the new rare rage variant. And it says the percentage of maximum health it deals to a target from attack damage is the percentage that it will insta-kill a target. So... Uh, not exactly sure from the way that sounds. It's kind of like if you... If you deal 50% of their damage, there is a 50% chance it would be an insta-kill. If you 100%, of course, it's going to be a 100%, you know, always, because that's that's what it would be anyway. But I don't know. It sounds, uh, sounds kind of interesting. Um... Let's go ahead and immediately boost this guy. And what else can we do? Let's go ahead and throw that on and that on. I won't want to go crazy with these guys because they're also not like the highest level ones. But all right, there's a beta. So I should have a chance at insta-killing, dude. Scorpions are so annoying that they stop when I'm, when I'm attacking. All right, it looks like, look at that. We got an insta-kill there, it looks like. 10 million? You gotta be kidding me. So the higher your damage is, like the more damage you're doing to a guy, 
the higher chance it is that you'd, you'd get an insta-kill. So right there, I'm doing like, I don't know, like very small amounts of damage. Come on, come on! Stupid guy. Oh, it dismounted me. Get him, get him! All right, let me on, bro. Let me on. Can we get another insta-kill? Ooh, there we go. Look at that. That's really neat. I also wonder if that could work on bosses. So this guy is an unstable. And it kind of reminds me of Meltdown a little bit. Crap, did we... I think we went the other way. It kind of reminds me of Meltdown. So I believe you hold down X. And it kind of like charges up based off of your health. All right, here we go. What are you? You are... Okay, this is definitely okay. Let's hold down. Look at it, look at it. It's charging up. Uh, it's kind of cool that I can move. Please, I hope we don't die. Boom! Dude. That was epic. And in that one hit, it, yeah, it's like a meltdown. But instead of doing like overtime damage, it just all of a sudden it releases all the energy at once. All right. Um, in meltdown, the ability got changed so that if you're below 10% health, it will not, uh, it, it'll just tur auto turn it off, which is kind of nice. Not going to lie. That's, that's a pretty nice feature. So this one, though, I wonder if you hold it down long enough, uh, if you could kill yourself. You know what? Let's, let's test it out. Let's do it for science. All right. Just waiting for my health to go up. All right. That could be a dangerous proposition. This guy right here. If he does, like, after we hit him, if we are like, go, to, it depends on how, how far our health could go down. All right. Um, Starfire beta. Ugh. All right. Let's, let's charge up. Let's just see what happens. How high we can make it go. All right. Oh, and then it released. All right. It looked like when it went to half health, unless he hit me and it broke it. That's pretty cool. That is definitely pretty cool. Ooh, we're, we're sustaining damage. All right, we got to get out of here. Got to go, got to go. Next up, we have Armored. So Armored reads... Let me see where it is. So incoming and outgoing damage is the percentage equal to its percentage health. So 10% health, it only deals or takes 10% damage. So that kind of flips two ways uh, in an in a interesting way. So if you want to look at this, we'll see what it gets. I don't imagine this guy's going to be a like phenomenal attacker just by hitting. So like that's the most we can do. And then as it brings our health down, we're going to hit for less and less and less, which I can already see happening. But on the flip side, we're taking less and less damage. So we become bulkier the lower our health is. So I don't know. That's kind of, it's an interesting trade-off. You know, it would make this guy really hard to kill, but it would be not very threatening either at a lower health. But it's, it's neat. It's a neat thing, and I think uh, probably a pretty cool thing to have on a golem, too. All right, and it's part guardian, so we can definitely uh, use this guy, like breed with this guy, if we wanted to. We could breed him all the way to Omega. All right, I like it. I like it. It's kind of neat. All right, anyway, that's I think that's the extent of this guy. There's no X's. There's no C's. It's just uh, the more the lower our health gets, the more uh, resistance we receive. Yeah, that's cool. I don't imagine it's it's going to be a super strong guy though. Just in general, I don't know. Maybe it is stronger than a normal guardian. Come on, come on. Oh, dude, stop it! Stupid scorpion. It's a soul one. Um, another interesting thing, too, if you ever want to look at what your guys are, press F1 and click on My Dino. What was kind of cool is it says stat multiplier on this guy is a times five. Whereas on a normal guardian, I believe it should only be a times 
two? Is Guardian two? It's either a two or a four. Let's see. Yeah, it's only a times two normally. So I don't know. Kind of cool. Anyway, let's carry on. I want to do some bossing today. All right, guys, the time has come. Let's go ahead do the next uh, unique group guide. Um, it is going to be the utility guardian type. Um, let's just see. What do I do here? Behavior, uh, stance. Okay, it's on aggressive. Perfect. That's exactly what I want. Um, you can't bleed it. So, because that is the case, we're going to have the Dodo Rex on our shoulder. Probably not even necessary. And then we are going to use Master Mantis. Yes, you remember Man uh, Master Mantis. It's a perfect creature for going against the resource type just because uh, of the pickaxe weapon. Um, anyway, I, I'm a little ticked off. Um, in the update that just happened today, there's a new thing added where the unique group gods, they actually drop trophies. And in anticipation of today's video, I did another anima before the update, which means I didn't get a trophy for it, which sucks. So we're going to have to do that fight again, but I got to grind out the, the resources to be able to do it. But hey, at least we have it for this guy. Boom. There we go. Is now an ancient. Ancient Master Mantis. Love it, right? Yep, there we go. Beautiful. All right, heal up, buddy bro. All right, let's do it. Let's do it. Guardian resource. Boom. All right. Let me on. Are we on? All right, let's run back here. Get over by the pygmies. Come on, bro. All right, waiting. Awesome, Instructus. All right, let's uh, also do that. All right, come on, bro. He'll come to us. Let's get back to the pygmies. Let's get all this shenanigans out of the way. Dude, can he not get back here or something? It's really annoying. Come on. Is, is he just trolling us? Is that what you're doing right now? Come on. Can he make... Okay, it looks like he's making it. Looks like he's making it. All right, here we go. And get ready. Holy crap. All right. Boom, boom, boom. Let's go at it. All right. Oh, dude, that knockback is unreal. All right. Come on. Come on. Oh, lordy. Oh, come on. Oh, good Gracious, this guy is strong. Oh my lord. Come on. All right, paying attention to my... Oh, my Torpor. All right, it doesn't do that much. Oh, this is going fast now. Now that we have the pygmy bonus. Oh, crap. All right, awesome. And, oh, dude, the freeze again did not work. That's so annoying. I don't know. It's got to it's gotta be like Reflect or something. I don't know. I don't know the Guardian abilities well enough. All right. Almost done. One billion. Oh, this is it, guys. This is it. And no. What's going on? Stop it. All right. Come on, dude. Just, just let me kill you. Let me kill you. All right, oh, dude, right as I'm about to do my uh, Gorgon. Come on, come on. Let me un undo me. Did I get him? No, of course not. Got him. Beautiful. Oh my goodness, what a pain in the butt. That really was the least scary, though, of any of them. Dude, I'm like stuck. I'm stuck in the floor. This is so annoying. I'm afraid if I dismount, I'm going to fall. Come on. All right, you did you did good, bro. Let's just pull everything off you. All right, can I dismount? All right, and pick you up. Awesome, and boom! Now where's my trophy? I was supposed to get a trophy. I don't I don't see a trophy. Uh, is there a bag somewhere? Um, where's my? Uh oh. Where's my torch? There we go. Where's my bag? Is this it? Hey! 
Awesome! We got our trophy. All right, let's get back to the base. All right, guys, we have done it. Yes! Let's go ahead, and I think uh, the only real guardian or resource guy that I have to even use this on uh, that would be any good is our golem. So, boom! It is now the ancient guardian golem. That is sweet. Love it, guys. So, hopefully much, much better. Let's go ahead and heal him up. Come here, bro. Boom. Wow. So now when we use our uh, shield and everything else, ooh, it's hopefully a heck of a lot better. Oh, that is so cool. I love it, dude. It goes through the stamina so quick. It's not even funny. Not even funny. I feel like it should get it a little bit longer. But anyway, not bad for today. We got to see all the new types. We got... The next, oh, speaking of which, uh, I'm going to have to do, redo all the gods um, just because I don't have all the stuff. Uh, I don't have all the stuff to do all the gods again immediately, but let's check it out. Look at that. Yes. Let's see. Hold for more options. Oh, no, not pick up foundation. Hold on. Access inventory. All right. That's kind of cool. So it's got kind of like its own dermis stand. That is very nifty. Does it have other, um, it doesn't look like it has other stances. Let's go ahead and set this down again right here. Awesome. So we can get that for each and all of the gods. I guess that's what it looked like. I don't know. It looks, it looks, uh, I guess that's what it looked like. I don't know. That is funky though. It's very cool. So yeah, we definitely got to redo this and uh, get them all. So I'll work towards that and we'll have all the group God trophies one day, one day. Oh, but um, pretty su a successful day. Finally got Builder Bob, got better versions of all of our guys. I did talk to Froggy Man. He's setting up the uh, the new server right now. But um, yeah, exciting when he does get on here. I'll give him that. And yeah, just in general. Total awesome sauce. Anyway, guys, thank you all so much for watching. It's been a pleasure. As always, show that amazing support for the series by smashing that thumbs up button. If you're new to the channel or you haven't yet, please do not forget to subscribe for the Daily Arc awesomeness. And as always, guys, um, I'll see you, hopefully, if all goes well, tomorrow, the first episode of the newest season. Yeah. And um, we'll still be live streaming this, so you can check me out over on Twitch if you want to watch more of this. Anyway, guys, thanks again, and as always, peace out.